Hello, I'm gonna show you our group project which is V2X communication between emergency vehicles and traffic lights. Our group consists of two people, my groupmate Pierre and me, Ayaz. So let's start why V2X communication between emergency vehicles and traffic lights are so important. Because it can decrease the amount of waiting time on the traffic lights and it can decrease the amount of traffic accidents. Actually, emergency vehicles can violate the traffic lights, however, it will increase the chance of accidents by four times. That's why it's very important to control the traffic lights with respect to emergency vehicles. To simulate our project, we will use two uh, software tools. They are Sumo, Omnet++ and Vanes. Simulation of urban mobility, Sumo is an open source, highly portable, microscopic and continuous traffic simulation package designed to handle large networks. Even you can import real map data from OpenStreetMap and work with real traffic scenarios. Omnet++ is a modular component-based C++ simulation library and framework. Primary, it's primarily for building network simulators. And Vanes is an also open source framework for running vehicular network simulations. It's based on these two simulators, Sumo and Omnet++. So let's see what, what we want to achieve. So we will have traffic, some cars including emergency vehicles. And when emergency vehicle approach to the intersection, uh, it should send wave short messages. And we have also roadside unit. Uh, it will receive this message and control the traffic light. So uh, basically we will use very simple control. However, you can use some much more advanced control, even uh, you can use reinforcement learning, uh, you can choose a reward function uh, as a uh, traveling time of this emergency vehicle and try to minimize uh, this uh, time. So, uh, but it's uh, out of scope of this project. Uh, here we uh, we have two simulators, Sumo and Omnet++. The first one is Sumo and second one is Omnet++. Uh, some emergency vehicles will approach to the uh, intersection uh, and then they will uh, send wave short messages uh, to the other participant of traffic. Uh, and uh, roadside unit uh, will change the uh, traffic light uh, from red to the uh, green uh, and then our emergency vehicle uh, will pass the intersection safely. So let's see how this works. So this uh, red one is our emergency vehicle and it sends the message to the other traffic uh, participants and then uh, it will change the traffic light from red to the green Here, this emergency vehicle will also send VSM. And so, uh, so uh, to achieve this uh, simulation, uh, we, we need uh, firstly creating a, a road network. So you can use Sumo NetEdit. Uh, to create this road network, it's uh, very simple. You just uh, drag and drop some 
nodes, uh, you create some uh, junction between nodes uh, and so on. Uh, then you can uh, add the traffic demand using NetEdit. Uh, but I prefer uh, to use Python script uh, for adding a, a red random traffic, uh, traffic light, emergency vehicles uh, to the uh, road network. So uh, now we have a sumo simulation uh, and then uh, we should communicate between cars and uh, V2V and V2X communication. Uh, so, firstly, we should create a, a message packet of what we want to send over VSM. And then, uh, after creating this message packet, uh, we should write application layer. And in this application layer, uh, we should write what uh, the car will uh, send or, and when it should send. Uh, so using uh, TraceI uh, traffic control interface, uh, you can access some uh, parameters like uh, speed of car, position of car, road ID, route ID, uh, and also you can access for the traffic lights and so on. Uh, and in this layer, uh, we need uh, the type of vehicle. Uh, so if it is emergency vehicle, we should check or not. Uh, then uh, we need uh, the position of uh, this vehicle. If it is uh, near to the intersection, uh, we should send the wave short messages. Uh, and uh, then we need to write a roadside unit layer. Uh, it is because um, when we send the messages, uh, roadside unit should receive it and then uh, it, sh it should control the uh, traffic lights and uh, after all uh, we should run our project so uh, th that's why we should connect Sumo and Vains uh, using TraceSize server via TCP port uh, that's why you can uh, write in terminals Vains launched uh, and uh, then uh, you should write the path of uh, small. Uh, let's see what we have written in application layer. Uh, actually, uh, there we have some uh, functions, uh, but uh, one of the uh, important function is handle position update. So uh, this function uh, will run on the every vehicle. Uh, on the every step and then uh, we can use uh, trace eye uh, trace I commands uh, like uh, we can use type of uh, type of car location of car speed of car root ID and so on so here we check if the car is emergency vehicle uh, we change its color to the red and then uh, we check if the uh, car is emergency car and its location is uh, within some threshold values uh, then uh, we send VSM so wave short messages uh, to the other uh, participant of the uh, road and uh, we just send uh, root ID so uh, based on the root ID, uh, we can control the traffic lights. And in RSU layer, uh, we uh, we just uh, check if the uh, if the um, root ID is left or right. Uh, we will change the uh, traffic light phase index to the two, or if it is up or down, uh, we will change set uh, phase ID to the zero. Uh, here, one important note: uh, try to create a, a manager uh, and uh, 
using this manager uh, you can uh, access to the uh, tracei command interface otherwise uh, you don't have access from rsu layer to the traffic uh, command interface uh, you, you you may uh, face some uh, errors uh, if you didn't create this manager that's why uh, just use get command interface dot uh, access dot get uh, to access these uh, commands so uh, this is our references thank you very much for your attention